The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Sunday School this morning. Let's get into our story, shall we? Wherever Jesus went, crowds of people followed him. And this made the religious leaders of the day really nervous because they didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God. They looked for ways to try to trick Jesus and make him look bad in front of the people. One day, a law expert stopped Jesus with a question. And we're gonna read that, and it's in Luke 10, verse 25. He said this, a legal expert stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to gain eternal life? Jesus replied, well, what is written in the law? How do you understand it? And the law expert, he responded, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said to him, you have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But that wasn't enough for the law expert. You see, he wanted to make himself look good. He wanted to find out the least that he had to do to obey the law. So he asked a follow-up question, and that's in Luke 10, verse 29. He asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Hmm. Well, Jesus answered as he often did by teaching truth through a story. A Jewish man was going from Jericho, from Jerusalem to Jericho. Uh, unfortunately, as the man walked along the road, uh, some men came out of nowhere and robbed him and beat him and left him almost dead. Yeah, poor guy, looks like he might need a doctor. Eventually, a priest came by. The priest was someone who worked at the temple. So he was definitely a big fan of God. He was probably like, yay, God. <laughs> You'd think that someone like that would help the poor hurt man for sure. But when the priest saw the man, he passed right by him on the other side of the road and kept going. Later, a Levite came by. A Levite was also someone who worked at the temple, so surely he would help this man. But no, he also passed by on the other side of the road. Can you believe that? Neither the priest nor the Levite could be bothered to stop and help this injured man. It seemed no one would help him, but then things changed. A Samaritan came by. Now, before we move on, I want to explain a, a little something about Jewish people and Samaritans. These two groups of people were related, but they saw each other as enemies. The Samaritans worshipped God differently than Jewish people did. It was like they were from two completely different teams, right? A Samaritan would have been the very last person a Jewish person would have wanted to find him. Now, you probably know some of the other groups who were different from each other, right? Maybe you've heard your parents talk about different groups of people um, who you, maybe you've seen some stories or something on the news. Sometimes it's people from different parts of the country or different parts of the world. Sometimes it's people who vote differently or people who look differently from each other or come from different places or even have a different color skin. If we're not careful, we can let those differences drive us apart. And that was the case with Jewish people and Samaritans. So it's pretty interesting that Jesus chose a Samaritan for this part of the story. As it turned out, the Samaritan felt sorry for the hurt man, and instead of ignoring him, the Samaritan bandaged the man's wounds. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn. The next day, he gave two silver coins to the owner of the inn and told him he would pay for any extra expenses when he returned. Now, when Jesus finished the story, he looked at the law expert, the one who had asked, who is my neighbor? So Jesus asked him in Luke 10, 36 and 37, which of the three do you think was a neighbor to the man who attacked the robbers, who was attacked by the robbers? The law expert, he replied, the one who felt sorry for him? Jesus told him, go and do as he did. Now, Jesus' story is for us. 
right here and right now, just like it was for the people back then, we should all look out for each other, even people who seem very different from us. We should always be ready to show kindness to anyone because every single person is important to God. Be kind to people who are different from you. So let's talk to God and ask him to help us do that. So we're gonna close our eyes, we're gonna bow our heads and we're gonna talk to God. Dear God, thank you for making us all unique and different. It's amazing how you made every person with their very own story. Please help us remember to be kind to everyone we meet, whether it's someone who's a lot like us or someone very different. Help us to treat others the way we want to be treated. Help us see everyone you've made as our neighbor. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So Jesus made it clear. We should love everyone as we love ourselves, even people who are different from us. Of course, Jesus himself gave us the best example of what it means to show kindness to others, no matter what. So remember, everyone is a neighbor, no matter how different they may be. Your neighbor is anyone who needs you to show them God's love. Be kind to people who are different from you. That's right, after all, it's a good thing that people are different. God created us that way. And we can show how much we love God by the way we love the people he's put in our lives. So be a friend, be kind, try to understand someone who doesn't look like you, sound like you, or live like you. Treat them with respect and show them that they matter to you. I'm so glad that we're all different and I'm so thankful for each one of you out there today. That's our lesson for this week, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you right back here next week. Bye.